World of Warcraft, one of the biggest MMOs of all time, yet I have never played the game myself, except for one time on the server Nostalrius. However, we all know how that ended. So with the recent release of Hardcore World of Warcraft by Blizzard themselves, I was tempted to give it a try and see how far I could get. In addition to that, I decided to challenge myself by doing the Iron Man challenge. Basically, the first one is easy because we're already playing on Hardcore. You're not supposed to die, ever. If you die, you fail the challenge. You're not allowed to use anything other than white gear only. You cannot enhance your gear. You cannot have any greens or tablets or shirts. There's more rules that are important in the Iron Man challenge. Challenge. But the gist of it is that you don't have any great items, you can't use potions, you have to kill most of the mobs yourself. And all in all, it is just a much more difficult experience than teaming up and getting a bunch of great gear. I decided to go with Warlock because from what I've heard, it is the most overpowered class in Classic WoW and the easiest to level with. I've never played this, what do I have? Shadow Bolt. Okay, Shadow Bolt is just a cast and then Demon Skin protects the caster, increasing armor by 40 and restores 3 health. It's not like this is my first time playing World of Warcraft. I used to play on Nostalrius together with my brother. Something that I've always liked about World of Warcraft Classic that I didn't find in any other MMORPG is the fact that it feels so immersive. For example, in order to get your first summon as a warlock, I had to kill these familiar. Once I had killed enough of them, I was able to summon a familiar, meaning the monsters that I kill turn into my pet. Tiny things like that make the game more complete and especially immersive, which gives it an authentic experience in my opinion. Ha! Immolate! There you go. It costs 2 seconds to cast, 25 mana, and it burns 9 fire damage and then 20 fire damage after that. Train. Demon Trainer, show me selection of Grimlings. Ah! So at level 8, we get Imp Firebolt. Oh! Oh, ooh, okay, I need to remember that. And unfortunately, I think over time, World of Warcraft Classic has lost this appeal. Hence why I could never got into it myself. All right, so control one, two, three, four. Okay, so what is this? The pet has an ability called Firebolt that you can right-click to activate on its own. And then you have Follow and Attack. Orders your pet to attack the current target. You don't really use pet abilities. See, like, that's what a noob would say. A Giga Chat uses the pet abilities, okay? And I was right in saying that because later on I almost died if I didn't micromanage my pet. After I got the Imp, I just started steamrolling those monsters. And the game became much easier. Now, the pet is going to do everything for me. Look at that. Wow. What a huge improvement. No player instance resources. That's the way it should be, bro. Makes it feel like a real MMO. Yeah, it makes it feel like you're playing with others, right? Gives it a community aspect. And it also gives you the anxiety of not being fast enough. It does so many things. Can you spit in classic? You spit on the ground. Yeah, you can. You can spit, but you can't spit on people. Oh, really? You cannot spit on people anymore? Wow, that's cringe. While questing through the starting area, I noticed something interesting. Hey, guys. Have you noticed something right now? Blizzard can actually implement confirmation dialogues. Whether you really want to do something. For example, destroy an item. But when it comes to redeeming the battle pass in Diablo 4, somehow they have lost that ability. That is interesting, right? So far, I have not really come close to dying. The only noticeable dangerous incident was right before the troll village that you get to after the starting area. I accidentally pulled two scorpions and had to micromanage my pets to help me out and tank one of them while I finished the first one. Next doing Iron Man to level 16. Have you seen this? Do you see this, guys? My pet is tanking one scorpion, and I'm tanking the other one. Do you see this? And now I run away. <laughs> I run away! No! Bro, go away! Carried by pet? Of course! 
That's what it does. So after picking up all the quests in the troll village, I started leveling up around the beach area where the islands are. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I got scared of the monsters that are level 8 because I was level 6. Wow, look at that. He did that much damage to me. This guy's... No, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm a pussy. I don't care. This guy's level 8. I know he's not going to kill me. But I'm fucking level 6. This is level 8 area, okay? I'm just gonna power up and level up. So I pussied out, went back, handed in the quest, got myself a nice new pouch. And then also I changed the very interesting and important option to show all the bags on B-Press. Just a small tip, don't get fooled by anyone telling you that you could press the num lock key to open up all the bags at once. By default it is shift B. You know, it could get you killed in the future. Thank me later. So yeah, after that, I did the Minotaurus quest instead and I then went over to the islands to continue questing. I should have probably gone over to the islands at a later stage because the monsters are actually quite high level. They can get up to level 10, which is difficult to beat at level 7. There's actually a small fortress with humans right above the troll village and I should have gone there okay cool so we have the new quest complete i find this a bit weird that we have level 10 quests here while we are only level 7 then over here we have level 5 quests level 8 at this point i realized just how much i've been missing playing a good mmorpg when i was very young i used to play silk road and then later on rift but i've never gotten into world of warcraft myself I've, i miss this you know i've been missing this for a long time i didn't play wow when i was young i played another game called rift but it was basically the same thing i wonder what would have happened to me if i ever got into wow the same way my brother got into it because the same time he got into wow i got into a game called rift rift was one of the promising world of warcraft killers yeah but it failed at that it was very laggy like compared to world of warcraft it was really bad and it never recovered it was never really good after that i finished killing all of the trolls and teleported back to the valley of trials i handed in all of the quests and made my way up to razor hill I also found this faintly glowing skull, which seems to be quite overpowered because it deals 75 to 125 damage and, as far as I understand, heals me. That would have come in handy later on when I'm fighting a very strong opponent and I'm close to dying. And this is, you know, what I think is great about World of Warcraft Classic. You get those limited items that only come from certain quests or certain rewards that once consumed you will never be able to get again but they can help you in certain situations and that creates such a diverse playstyle. It makes the game vast and I really enjoy that. Once I arrived at Razor Hill the question arised whether I should be able to learn first aid or not. Am I allowed to do first aid in the Iron Man challenge or not? First aid I believe is allowed really? So I decided to pick it up later but first I went to the fortress that i was talking about earlier which i should have gone to before i went to the islands so the area was a little bit easier for me to go through are you piece of shit she interrupted me <laughs> she's doing pvp you know this is what i've been missing in other mmos like the monsters actually doing shit against you at that early level already but in the end it was fine and i was able to finish all of the quests there wait is that the quest ha okay cool all right let's get out of here the next couple of quests were not that difficult. I had to kill a couple of razor mains, then run it back and dive deep to pick up gnomish toolboxes. And then I made my way north through the canyon to get to Orgrima. And this is where I would receive my next class quest, telling me to go into a cave right next to Orgrima to retrieve a tablet. As a reward of that quest, I would be given the Void Walker. But I also knew that this quest was dangerous because the cave is very high level and can spawn a bunch of monsters on you. So I needed to make Make sure that I prepare before I venture into that cave because I didn't want to die. Since I reached level 10, I wanted to laugh at people and so I reacted to the Hardcore Devs collection with my insane knowledge about the game after in a total amount of 4 hours playing on it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The next day was all about preparing for the cave. Also, I realized I didn't spend any of my talent points. And so I decided the best point would be to spend it into corruption. I obviously didn't watch any guides or anything. But to me, it seemed like the best choice since I've been using it a lot. And it's actually the highest damaging ability that I had at this point. I then started heading over to the cave and I started to get the shields. Oh god, I'm gonna die, am I? Yeah, I'm gonna go back later. These are level 11. I don't care if you call me a pussy, but this... 
Nah, bro. Like, I'm pretty sure I have to do this right here. And then there's some other quest right here. I like to challenge myself by playing on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, but not stupid. You need to use your brain. What are you talking about? Look how much damage this guy did to me. I almost died. Yeah, I mean, I actually pussied out. Um, I wanted to do the cave, but I realized that these monsters looked way too intimidating. And so um, I did a tactical retreat and come back stronger later. So I went over to this goblin right here, picked up some sacks, then killed some harpies. I wasn't paying attention and I almost died. But luckily there was a warrior around that helped me out. And even after helping me out, he was nice enough to trade me some water that he didn't need. And this is the experience that I'm talking about when I say that I like classic World of Warcraft. For some reason, the community in this game just feels so much nicer and tighter than in any other game or MMORPG that I have played so far. I don't know exactly what the game does to people, but they are just more open and close to you than in any other game. Maybe it's because the game is so slow, I don't know. But I really enjoy this experience and without this guy, I would have died right there. I think we are ready now, boys. We can go into the cave. I need to get a tablet of Virga and then I get my summon void walker which turns me into a giga chat. Hey guys, I have to get rid of the items. I have way too many items in the inventory and I don't think there's another NPC. So I have to quickly run to sell all my items so I can run back and do the quest. Okay, I'm not stalling, but I have literally no space left. So after stalling a little bit by selling my items and calming my nerves, I was finally ready to get into the cave and start working on the quest to get my void walker. Okay, so this cave is a a death trap i have seen oh god i have seen so many this void walker minion is another number one death trap so they don't despawn despawn as far oh you see that the cave was very intimidating i tried my best not to panic and to pull very carefully killing the summons require you to kill two monsters at once so what you have to do here is kill the minion first and then try to avoid the casting of the summoner preferably by standing line of sight of his casts so that he gets interrupted when he finishes the cast and then has to restart and follow you look at him line of sighting the other one. Oh my god look at this attack <laughs> oh no, my pet! Attack! I'm the better one. I leveled up in the cave quite a bit and managed to do most of the quests. That is until I got to Fellweaver Scorn and I realized that this is actually an elite monster. Tablet is somewhere. Please don't tell me. Oh god, it's up there. Wait. That's an elite? How am I supposed to kill this guy? I can't do that. I have an idea. I'm gonna send my pet. I'm gonna sneak attack him. Dead in five minutes. No, I think I have an idea. Look at this, guys. These are all corpses of other players. All of those were not the chosen ones. I didn't really know what to do or how to attack the boss. And so I tried to pull around from the other side and then attack him from behind. And the idea was to first test whether my imp could pull the boss away from the chest. Then I could run around and quickly grab the chest and run away from the boss without ever actually having to defeat him. So I wonder what happens if, if I just let my dude attack him and run away. You think I should try that? And will he chase after me or will he forget about me? I'm just gonna try. Let's see what happens. I'm not in combat. He is. He's not dead. Lol. He's dead now though. Are they running after me? <gasps> oh my god! Go away! Okay. So, hmm. I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna pull the boss and then run the imp back. And um, follow, follow. Okay. It's stay, stay. Oh no, I'm stupid. Ah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm hundred percent dead. Oh my god. What am I gonna do now? 
is gonna keep on attacking me. I'm dead. Oh no, I'm stupid! I'm dead! Uh oh. No! Okay. <laughs> How are you supposed to do that fucking quest, man? I could have not killed him. He's too strong. Uh, so yeah, that plan didn't really work so well. Uh, I died, unfortunately. And that is the, or was the end of my Iron Man challenge. So yeah, nonetheless, this was a great experience. I had a lot of fun playing World of Warcraft again. And I'm excited to try it again. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.